Okay, so today I want to make my own one of these, even with sliding doors, if at all possible, um, but narrower because I need this is a bit too wide. I need it to be. Um, this is almost two and a half inches wide, and I need it to be a maximum of two, two and one eighth. No, two and one. Yeah, two and one eighth wide. But probably just do it two inches wide for ease of of making. I've got some plywood sheets or basewood sheets. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to make it out of this. So we will see. Now I think it can actually be taller than her. I've had a look at what my dresser looks like in relation to me, and it's definitely at least a head taller. Um, and I think that could probably be a bit taller as well. But I haven't quite decided yet. Anyway, that is where I'm going to start. So my my workings will probably be in um, time lapse because I'm going to do this all time lapse. Uh, before it moves on to the um, time lapse part, I realised perhaps because it was so long, it has. Um, it seems to be very fast, so I have slowed it down a bit. It's not brilliant, um, but I'm still learning the best ways to do this. <coughs> Sorry. Um, in an ideal world, I'd prefer not to have to do the time lapse, but because I can't seem to save any videos over about 10 to 15 minutes, that's the best way for me to do it. So we're going to move on to the time lapse, uh, slightly slowed down time lapse. And then we'll come back and see how I've got on. article. Um, I've made little doors and I realised after I'd made the doors and fitted them I probably probably should have put the doors on last and painted it first but we will have to be very careful when we paint to see if we can get around it. Um, at the moment I'll probably keep the doors white but who knows I may change them in the future. So I'm going to do a light stain and hopefully it will turn out right. I just need to get a little bit of sandpaper just to smooth some of the edges off. 
Um, just had a thought, should I paint it white to match the other furniture or should I do, make it look more like a wood stain? Hmm, I'm not sure. I guess I could do the wood stain type effect and then I could always paint it white afterwards if I want to. I might just start with the top, see what I think. So, I'd better go and get some water. Okay, so I'm going to test the sort of colour consistency I want. I'm going to want it darker than that. I might just go and get another bowl so I can transfer some of it. I probably should have cleaned it out, but hey ho, I didn't. Right, let's try a bit of this colour. Yeah, I might try that, see if I can get a nice, a nice lot. Not quite watered down. Actually, see, I don't know if you can on camera, but you can see, probably can't on camera, it's starting to bring out the grain of the wood. <clears throat> so, right, I'll just leave that bit to dry for now, and then I've got to decide what to do with the rest of it. I think I'm probably going to paint the whole thing in the brown. Anyway, we'll give it a go and see what it looks like. This is the progress I've made so far. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do about the inside. Uh, so I may see if I can just take the doors out very carefully without damaging it and then I can paint the inside and then put them back. Right, the uh, sun's starting to shine on my little area so it's, it's in the shadows now but I've finished painting it. Here's my little um, dresser. I'm not entirely happy with the doors. I will find something else to put in there at some stage, but at the moment they work. I did try painting the the card, but it, it looks too streaky, so I'm not happy with that. So yeah, at the moment the, the doors will have to do as they are. Anyway, we'll go and put it in situ and see what it looks like. Okay, so I actually changed the doors and now they're a blue and I like them better. And uh, 
yeah they look better so we're going to put this in place now And here is the dresser in place, and um, I am actually quite pleased with it. By sheer luck, rather than planning, I have actually got the height of it right as far as it's sort of level with the sink, so that's good. And uh, obviously it's still very bare because I've only got two tins. But no, I'm actually really pleased with how it's turned out. And it will give her a lot more space, it's more centred. The sink's more centred, which I like, and uh, yeah, the kitchen's coming together. So we'll see how Gladys likes it. So Gladys is quite pleased with it. She said the surface of it, um, sort of the working area of it, is the right height. She can always use the little chair if she needs to get up to the top shelves, but she'll put things up there. Um, that she doesn't need so often. What I would really, really love to find is a little tiny um, china or glass chicken crock, but uh, it's probably not going to be likely because I think they only made them for one twelfth size, and that will probably be too big. But anyway, yeah, I'm really pleased with how the kitchen's coming together. Obviously, there's still lots to make. Um, she needs a knife for the bread. I've made a couple of little sponges. Well, I just cut little bits off my existing sponges obviously the shelves are still quite bare but we're getting there slowly anyway thank you for watching me make this little oops sorry <laughs> thank you for watching me make this unit um, sorry that the video is a bit fast in places um, obviously I need to refine my technique somewhat um, but yeah it's a first for making these tiny little items Anyway, have a great day. It's a beautiful weekend and I've got to get out into the garden. Catch you another time. Bye.